Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, False Symmetry. Today we're at my base because I've quickly come back here to grab one of these guys and possibly actually one of these guys as well because I was just flying around this morning. Now when I say this morning, I mean this morning. It is currently before 8am, which is rare for me to start recording, um, but I've logged on. Azuma, of course, is on the early bird. And I went over to the shopping district and saw a rare sight. There is something that I'm going to be borrowing slash taking slash keeping as my own. And I've not seen one by themselves before. That, of course, is this guy down here. Now, I didn't have a big search around here, but I cannot see anywhere nearby... The wandering trader now at night time he's invisible which is why i slept just in case you know he was around but no no daytime actually confirms that well he isn't around and he's left his poor poor llama friend who she by the way oh yeah okay he is a trader llama i was just checking he was actually a different llama it's no good me taking a normal llama and then realizing that it's because he's wearing a specific carpet um but i thought you know what Oh, I'm not able to steal the llamas away easily otherwise. Uh, I mean, not 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 steal, guys. I I don't I don't steal, do, do I? Exactly. He's he's totally coming along willingly, guys. Totally. But uh, I've got room at my base for animals, and um, he's more than welcome to join us. Also, apparently there is a wolf, um, which is also pretty rare. Thinking about it, uh. Oh wait, what what are you doing? Oh whoa! Oh, 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 oh I forgot that was a thing! I'm sorry, Wolf, I didn't mean to do I didn't mean to have him spit at you. Good good llama, good llama. Um but no, don't be spitting at my wolves, okay? Because otherwise you will be chucked out um very, very quickly. But I think the easiest way to get this guy to my base is the classic boat. So Let's get on a little ride, shall we? Just don't, just don't put your button in my face, okay? Then we'll be good. Instead, he seems to be eating my head, um, or helmet. So, I might not have a helmet by the end of this. <laughs> just saying. Question is, where do I put this guy? Whew, I guess we have some pens. But, uh, I guess they're gonna be a temporary basis. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. What should we make for this guy? Shall we make him a special little area for him? Or, uh, put him in our main base? Or, I don't know, Spooky Noise tells me he's probably good in here for now. Well away from me. In case he is a spooky haunted llama of some sort. You never know. Oh! He has llama friends. Uh, let's put you in in here. In the neighbouring, the neighbouring thing. Because if I ever want to move you... It's gonna be a problem if these guys are fighting over you, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they're different kind of llamas. Maybe they're not friends. Who knows? Just, we'll, we'll keep them, we'll keep them like that for, you know, safety. So enough of that llama nonsense. Um, the sun is going down. Azuma has left the game. You know what time that is. Bolt takes another hit at the Elytra course. Now, you guys have actually told me, which I appreciate, because I would have missed it otherwise, that there is now a new leaderboard up here. So let's have a quick little look. There is also a little mini green, just chilling there, of course. And, um, yeah, reverse mode. So apparently, you can do it backwards, which I guess is flying through here first. That starts your time. And then you have to, like, like, relearn the course, basically, and go, like, through there, and then back. And, oh my goodness, I don't even know where that takes me. One moment, let me have a nap in there. I've got to check on something real quick. I have no clue what that is. It is, in fact... Actually, no, what is it? Have I missed something? I might have missed something. What it... It looks like a bomb. I maybe don't want to land on that, actually. Um, but what is that above? Like, what is it actually above? Um, that looks like potentially a bad thing for the shopping district. Just, just saying. 
Yeah, about here <laughs> is where it's potentially going to land if it gets dropped. And maybe, you know what, maybe I don't want to hang around. Uh, let's maybe do the Elite course and then get out of here. I don't want to actually find out what that is, at least not um, from this uh, area, because I've got a feeling it could cause me some damage. <laughs> So our time to beat is Grian's, but we also really want to beat be our own. So I've got four penalties on my own, which is the biggest problem. Um, also, I haven't done this in a while, so I am a little bit worried. But I think Rendog, yeah, Rendog hasn't redone his. Um, so it's just me and Grian fighting out on that currently. Um, I don't know why the other hermits haven't had, given it a shot. Maybe they haven't, maybe didn't get a good enough time. I don't really know. But anyway, uh, I haven't had a go at this for a while. So I'm a little bit nervous, and I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to miss some holes. But basically what I'm going to do is, what I did previously last time, is I'm going to give it a run, or two, or three, or however many t it takes. And if I get the time, then I'll show you the whole run of that one. Um, and anyone that I don't do very well on, I'm just going to cut out the video. Because you guys don't need to see it. Um, you've seen this many, many times. I want to shave your, save your uh, faces staring at it. Unless anything crazy happens, maybe I die. I'll, I'll put that in, the, I guess, but um, I guess I'm just going to give this a few, few shots and hope that I beat one Fae. That's going to be a difficult one, is all I'm going to say. Right, well, Azuma's rejoined the game, so that is game over for me and my goes, and, well, I didn't show you anything, did I? And that is for good reason, because I got a better time. I got 1 minute 32. Two seconds quicker than me. But I got, I got, I got eight penalties. I kept getting penalties, guys. I can't today, for some reason, fly very well. I'm not very accurate. My, uh, my curse is sort of like all over the place today. And I can't quite, you know, target anything like super slick like you meant to. Um, so that's a big, big problem. So sadly, today is not the day for um, winning this, but that's fine. I'll give it another shot later on today, and um, I guess if I if I do like beat this time, that will be the next clip, um, <laughs> and I'll show you my uh, my winning time. But I don't think we're going to be able to beat that now, but that's because I've had such a poor performance today. So I don't know. Maybe later. Maybe I'll be better. But for now, I'm not doing great. <laughs> So in the previous episode, I was thinking and talking about this area quite a lot. Now, that's what I've wanted to get on with in today's episode, but I've been struggling and I've been procrastinating. But, and this is probably the first time this has ever happened, the procrastination has actually led to an idea to do in the video, which is wild, and I'm going to explain why. So Instagram is a thing that I have, uh, at Full Symmetry, if you want to follow me, the link will be down below. I like posting photos and taking photos, but, um, I was actually on the, like, trending page or the home page, or whatever the page is where you end up with basically a whole bunch of random images, right? And then you click on one, and then if you scroll, it comes up with a whole bunch of random stuff. Now, on that grid of, like, nine images, one image came up, and I just saw it in the small little image, the small little pixel where it was, and was like, that is what I'm going to do. And now, the image happened to be from someone called, I think their name is Andy is Yoda, or something similar to that. Now, I've heard the name only once before from Corrales, like, ages and ages ago, and I was like, dude... It's great. So basically what happened is I've been thinking about tree houses and I've been thinking about or housing, like hobbit houses, things like that, right? And basically I've been really struggling with coming up with houses and I've been wanting to build the houses at the same time as the mushrooms. Now the mushrooms I have designed, I have an idea in my mind how I want them to look. That's not an issue. But when you're placing things like mushrooms down, you don't want to put them in the prime locations of possible houses. So I'm so happy now to say that I have an idea and a build to do with the houses, which will mean that we can do them all in today's episode. Now, I'm probably not going to build all of the houses and all of the mushrooms, because that area is really large for those that haven't seen the whole, the whole area. But my goodness, 
Um, do I have a great idea? Now, I'm grabbing all the blocks right now that I'm gonna need. Uh, I should probably clear out this because I don't need these. And basically, we're gonna be making little purple, tiny little houses that aren't really houses. They're more of like little, um... Actually, no, we could make them houses. We could make some go underground, actually. That might be an option. Uh, that I've just come up with. Um, and basically, um, yeah, some are going to be hanging from trees and some are going to be standing on the ground. And it's good. It's just, it's just fantastic. Okay, uh, let me just, let me just wind forward to me uh, building these things because hopefully you guys will love them too. Shock box is gathered and Mumbo has locked on, which I need to be a little bit careful of. I think the hot potato game is in full swing and I believe Mumbo might still at this point have the potato, obviously. Um, no one knows, because videos go out and then time passes and by the time the next video goes out it could be someone else. So it could be him, but it could be someone else. Who knows? Anyway, Momo is sneaky, so, you know, he could try and, you know, get us with the hot potato. But anyway, so, uh, this is the perfect tree right here to showcase both, both building designs. I'm going to build one building here and one building off of one of these branches. I think that branch there is good. Because that's going to be the problem here. The branches all overlap quite a lot. Yeah, there's not like a clear branch there. I need to basically have... Oh, that one there. Like, I can have a fence coming down to just below these. And then the building. And then this one here, I'm sure we could, you know, use that. Yeah, so we can definitely fit in all the floating houses. Uh, or dangling houses. Uh, we just need to figure out what branches are going to be best, and I think that's what that, that that's what I'm going to do. Then is do the fl the these houses first, the hanging ones, because they're what need a very very specific spots. And then then secondly, we'll do the standing houses, and then thirdly, we'll do the mushroom. But for now, we'll do this little cross section of the design, and uh, we'll figure it out real quick. So let me get some blocks and inventory, and let's get building this thing. So we'll start off real quick with the standing one. So one, two, three. I'm gonna have one, two, three. So I think the next one goes there and then it's gonna be one, two, three. So I'm just put, placing these as like, uh, the areas that are gonna look like it's actually being held up. So even though these ones are gonna be on the floor, I still want them to be off the floor. So I think if I raise this by two, that shouldn't hopefully interact with the tree. And this is going to be, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to be the start of it. So from here, that is going to be the floor. So I think, let's just fill this in. So we can get sort of the shape going. I think the shape is going to be like this. This is why I was counting threes. Because it's like one, two, three. Um, but we don't need that in the actual floor. We just need that on the floating platform. So there we go So that is a one floor of one building and every building is going to be this size We could make one or two larger scale ones if we wanted to but I guess we'll see how these ones look first So what I want to do is continue these ones up like so and then from here I'm gonna have to add like a little bit of extra detail. So this is also the color scheme that I'm borrowing from the boats that we built last uh, episode and also the big large boat that we have at the front of our base as well over there which of course uses the dark oak for the main bit. This uh, circles the boat and adds the detail and then of course we use spruce or maybe dark oak, I'm not actually 100% sure but they're both close enough that it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be that. And then from then on, I don't know where I'm going to want the entrance. We could do a ladder up the middle, or we could do... This is actually where I wanted to use the fence gates. Um, we could put them that way. Yeah, that works. Um, basically, I think... Yeah, I don't know if I want... Do I want... I can't focus right now. Do I want a little pathway up here from like there? Or do I want to enter from the bottom? I guess we'll wait and see. I'll do this first. And then we'll figure it out. But anyway, so that is... Oh, oh I can fit through those gaps. Oh, okay. So yeah, that is the base of the design and the scale of it. So yeah, you can see how that is a good scale for people. It's a good scale for the trees. It's a good scale for the mushrooms, which are going to be about that size max. Um, they're still going to be bigger than the houses, which is going to be nice. 
And hopefully, yeah, these, these are almost going to be like little fairy houses, I guess. But anyway, let me add a roof. It's going to be circle and purple. So, you guys have seen it all before. I've done many, many circular purple roofs. So, let me cut ahead and um, I'll show you guys how this looks when I come back to you guys. And... Is this the right place for this? I have no idea. So I've just added a little bit of detail to the bottom there, and I think that looks good. Let's see if we can grab a lantern real quick. Oh, there's only one... Is there really only one block there? I thought... This was one taller. Have I built this wrong? Okay, I think I've got this mostly done now. Yeah, we just need to replace all of the... Uh, the fences and then we should be good um and i think it's gonna look a lot better actually which is uh i mean it's not a lot of difference one extra high but you're gonna see the difference from the floor it's gonna look a lot yeah it's gonna look a lot taller right you're gonna want to walk underneath it which i think is really cool and then that's where the lantern comes in really handy and looks really cool sweet there we go much better see sometimes having to change little bits it just you know, it's sort of unnecessary, but at the same time, it really does sort of improve something. Um, so inside, not really sure what I'm going to do. I've added lanterns because we've used lanterns in the sort of building aspects of stuff. Uh, in here, I don't think we're going to do too much right now. You guys can always come up with little suggestions of variations on this, actually. That's something I would love to see. Uh, but I think we're just going to do a little bit of a uh, extra trim on the roof, just because that's going to look a little little bit neater. I'm a little bit worried that creepers are going to come along and blow this up, but I think we should be okay. I've also um, put a uh, carpet on the top, um, and of course we could actually use some of the concrete as well. Of course we've used concrete and... Um, what's the word? Wool at the same time in the, uh, in, in the roofs or everything else, but I think maybe because these are sort of more little man-made huts sort of thing um maybe just keeping it wool and keeping it very sort of handmade man-made looking um might be better but anyway let's have a quick flyby see how that compares i really like that it looks like a little miniature tent so building these things top down is a little bit more challenging than i would like <laughs> they're a little bit more difficult there we go i think we have it though so that is what we have so far, and that doesn't look too, too bad. In fact, that looks exactly like that one, kinda. So let's add the detail we did underneath that one, which was, I think, something like... And the whole point of it was to cover up the light. So I think we did something like this, and then we did something like this. So you've got that sort of indentation. Little, little buildings like this, and anything that you build that's very, very small, the more sort of detail you can add sometimes the better or at least if that's the kind of style you're going for and that's something i really like doing you guys know i like detail uh, if i can add it so i think what we'll do now is we'll add a whole bunch of fences to this wait a second oh i thought, I thought someone was over there flying around it, it is in fact a minecart going back and forth of course it is so i think what we'll do yeah something like this maybe we'll make some more, more natural and stuff but i think we'll just have it hang like that um i do sort of want to add like a little um lantern at the bottom of it so let's maybe go down a couple more like so and have a little lantern hanging from it because i think that's gonna soup that's just gonna glow super nicely isn't it oh dude wait does that look cool or does that look cool that does look at them oh we could have it something like that right or is that too much? I can't, I can't tell. Does that work? Sort of. Sort of, kind of. And then we'll get rid of this bit. And that's the little entrance. It'd be really cool if we could, like, group these up as well and have, like, hanging, hanging bridges. Oh, in fact, I know exactly where to get inspiration for that. Good times with Scar, of course. The problem is a lot of things like this work really well because you build them so large, right? That's that's why you can build big giant things, which by the way, <laughs> there was a comment on my last episode that was like, hey boss, you bought in Viking style ships, that's not fantasy, look at what Scar's done. Guys, what I built was my fantasy, okay? 
Of course, Scarf Fat Scars Fantasy is going to be better. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no competition. There is just me surrendering to Scar, and that's fine. That's fine. We all have different build styles. We all have different things we'd like to build. My base is already in a certain style, so I'm sort of trying to build to that. Even though obviously styles and and things that you like change a lot in the game, but yeah, just wanted to showcase this. It does look incredible, and uh, I mean. I'll forever bow, bow down to Scar. That will never change. <laughs> anyway, back to my fairy houses. <laughs> I think they look really good. So I think what I'm going to do now is just mess around with the little bits of detail with the terrain, perhaps. Maybe add a mushroom and some foliage. I know that I want to go with ferns because I've put ferns down there. But I think custom mushroom, ferns, bamboo possibly? So I've been messing around for quite a while. Now there is one thing that I really dislike and I'm going to just tell you so that you guys aren't, you know, wondering whether or not this is going to stay. I don't like these. I was hoping that I would because I really like the idea that the lights follow you around the path and every time you're on a path they'll dangle from a tree. But I don't, I don't like them. Maybe, maybe higher up they might work, but they don't work for actual, like, a lighting option, sadly. Um... So we'll just leave them maybe higher up for now and then maybe maybe do something with them at a later date or something. I don't really know. Anyway, yeah, when they're out of the way, they're a little bit better, but still not fantastic. That's because I... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think trees will we'll keep trees as, as trees and do something like that instead, perhaps, if we want extra lighting. But what I do, I think, quite like... It's the bamboo. I don't hate it. I think it adds a little bit of extra something. I'm not sure what. But guys, let me know down below what you think of this. Let me know what you want to keep. Let me know what you don't think looks good. Bamboo could look good. Sometimes, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it though. Um, I guess maybe we'll put a pole in the top right hand corner on the bamboo. It sort of works quite nicely, but also doesn't at the same time. It's really weird. I mean, oh, I, I think it works okay here because it does bring in the red and, and the light green. But is that too colourful? I don't know. Let's have a quick little look from over here as well so you guys get a good sort of vantage point to vote. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what else we'd, we'd trade it for. That's the question. But anyway, um, and here's the mushroom as well, which I think I like. I think I like. But as we obviously expand this area we'll be able to tell if it looks too crowded in this area or not enough or whatever we'll be able to tell won't we so guys let me know what you think down below um i'm excited about this project and hopefully in live streams i'll be able to work on it on and off working on the buildings working on the mushrooms and all that good stuff but guys thank you so much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys all in the next episode see ya when stanley approached the end of the video he clicked the subscribe button